There he is. Okay, and I'm super close. He's a little nervous now. Wondering what's going on. 18 yards. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you all have enjoyed Way of the Hunter Week, where we have just been exploring Matariki Park and everything it has to offer. This map has truly been a joy to play. I can't wait to keep playing it. Currently, we're going to be checking on our chamois. We had an albino, and I've got some calling down here. I'm just wanting to see how big he our albino's gone. I don't know if this is him down here or not. I actually only have two zones for him. So we're going to see. I think they're coming up out of their water. They should be about headed to feed or uh, rest. We spooked out those elk. There was nothing special in there other than a three star mature, which we'll just kind of leave alone. See if he grows a little bit more. Um, and as we just keep exploring the map, we'll rest. And then check on our red deer. I checked on him before we came out hunting for these guys. He is still a four star. So hopefully he ages a little bit more. And turns into a five star today. You never know. But let's enjoy the rest of this map. Exploring some new terrain. Checking on some animals. Hopefully finding some five stars. There goes a chamois there. I wonder if our albino is with that one. Or if that one is all by his lonesome. We're going to find out. That was just a solo. Actually, there's two, but I think he was by himself. The other one's way over here, away from him. But up here's the rest zone for the albino. And like I said, they should be getting close. So I'm just sneaking up here to see if... Oh, <laughs> well, there he is. He is a one-star adult now. He was a one-star young first time we saw him. Um, we're not going to shoot him, but just get a better look at him. He's looking pretty good. He's looking pretty good. I don't think he's going to turn into anything crazy special. Maybe a two-star mature for Lucky. Um, I really don't know. Uh, we took that one one-star young out of this crew that one time. And looks like we didn't get a replacement of a male. Interesting. Unless there's just one hanging out a little bit further back. But we'll uh, leave him be for now. Let him hit mature. Once he hits mature, we'll probably take him. I won't wait around. because I mean, unless he turns to a two-star adult and then a three-star mature, then we'll leave him, obviously, because he might hit four-star. Uh, but we're definitely going to take him here soon. That's that one calling still. That's down there. But yeah, we'll take him eventually. For now, I think we'll let him be. And kind of play it by ear on what he turns into after being a one-star adult. Well, we're in the mountains and kind of just walking around exploring. We found some chamois with a three-star mature and a one-star adult. So, I, oh, we got some more over there, too. Man, I got some everywhere. This mountain has been popping off. I had some really close. And I set the stand up to try and see them. I ended up spooking them out. But I think I'm going to take that one-star adult, which I think was him. I'm going to double check. If that was him, that is him. I'm just going to use the 300 to take him out quick. Uh, should be able to... Yeah, good enough. Drop a waypoint there. That way we don't lose it. Get out of our... There's some up on the other side of that mountain there. 280, 300. That mountain is 270. Yeah, I think they're right on the other side of that mountain. I'd like to see those ones too. Just kind of exploring them. Seeing what we can find that's not been found yet. I never did get a good chamois off of Transylvania. So I wouldn't mind getting one here off the rip. We'll, we'll see what we can kind of find and stir up. Like I said there was some more over there. So we kind of got to be cautious. I want to see the rest of them. Unless they spooked with that gunshot when those guys fled. I didn't pay attention. All right, well, here he is. The other one we ran off, it was just a one-star adult by itself. Ooh, this guy looks good. 41.36. We're okay. We're okay. I'm all right to see that. All right, let's, let's get up over here and take a look, see what we can find. there. That's where the other chamois we're calling from. Our wind's better now. Kind of at a higher vantage point. I think if we get up here, we might be able to see across. We might be not be able to see what they are, but we can at least take a look at them uh, without scanning them and then getting closer if we have to. 
All right, one star dolt. Plenty more talking. I feel like this is going to be a good spot to find some. I'm seeing and hearing plenty. We just got to find the good one. Oop, there's some more down there. Oh, there we go. There goes a Himalayan tar. But a one star mature for a chamois. Again, going to use 300 because I don't care. You know how it is. I don't like to track them. So let's just use a big enough caliber. Drop them in his tracks. We're actually going to drop a waypoint there because I've got those guys right there that are now alerted because I shot. So we're just going to take it nice and slow getting up over here onto them. I hope we found some tar. Those guys are up over there. Let's just do a quick little scan. Two star mature. Leave him be. Because I got other stuff to check. A lot of feral goats here. A lot of feral goats to kind of check. Actually, let's check these ones. Because they're a little bit closer. And there's some bigger ones in here. Some one star adults. There's also some chamois there one star mature for a feral goat that wouldn't be a bad one to take let's get a look at all these chamois three star mature chamois one star mature chamois yeah, there's a lot we can take oh boy let's kind of work through these ones one star mature two star mature I just want to make sure there's nothing good in these groups. All right. Well, this is a tough decision. We've got... Man, there's so much open space. Sorry, I'm distracted. We got a one-star mature chamois. We've also got a one-star mature feral goat. So I think... Man, I think we're going to have to take the feral goat because he's... He looks a little bit better. Uh, or this herd looks like it's got some half-decent genetics, maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, this is a tough one. Tough decision to make. I wish I could shoot fast enough to get both. But I just don't think I can. So I'm going to have to just drop it into him. Those guys didn't spook. I'm. They did spook, actually. Dang, that sucks. No. I don't know which one was my mature up over there. Was it this one? Yep. That one there. All right. Let's take that too then since we're here. There we go. That got us a few things down. A few things are down. That, I'll, I'll take that. Um, we'll get that goat that's right in front of us. We'll get the other one, and then we'll go get that tar as well. Or, uh, tar. Chamois, whatever they are. You know, the thing. All right, and here is one star mature feral goat number one. Got him with a left lung liver kill shot. 55.6. I think that has some good genetic potential in that herd, so one we'll have to keep an eye on. Uh, we'll sell that guy. I really like the look of these guys. They are, they are pretty cool looking. Let's go grab that chamois. That was up over here first because I got that one pinged. The goat. We'll grab the chamois. We'll grab a campsite that's up there. What time is it? Sandbar should be drinking now. So we might go check on some sandbar as well. All right. Chamois. We just sprayed over here. Scared everything away. Oh, guy with a spine shot. Oops. 37.48% genetic potential. Another good one to take. Let's go grab that feral goat now. We'll kind of take it slow getting up to that campsite. I think that's a campsite. Because I think down over there, we have some more chamois. That's a big looking tar. That is a very big looking tar. We're going to have to check on that. We are going to have to check him. I just spooked him off. Um, yeah. Let's drop a waypoint there. We're just going to worry about him right now. I'll go back for that goat. I want to check him out. He looked he looked big. At least a four star. Maybe a five star if I had to guess. Um, the others are getting closer to him. There was more with them. I didn't actually check those ones as they were running. Because I just got caught with that guy. 
Uh, yeah, all those look pretty small. Yeah, he might be a three star. He might not be a four star. Well, let's get over there and find out, though. He's a three star. He is a three star. We'll watch him. Keep an eye on this herd over here. Just in case he happens to grow. Um, you never know. I like this area, man. I just like it because there's no trees. It's uh, pretty easy to spot things, which I like. Like that chamois right there. Or goat. Is that a goat or a chamois? I think it's a chamois because I heard him call earlier. Yeah, that's a chamois. Ah, right, let's focus back up. Go, go pick this goat up. And here we are up onto this one star mature goat. Let's see what he was going to be. 40.62% genetic potential. A little bit worse genetic potential than the one we did take. Well, I heard a red deer and I am not seeing him. I'm not sure where he's at. He's actually quite elusive, but I have a two star mature feral goat. We might as well take that guy. This is, this is a good spot. It looks like for feral goat, chamois and tar. Roll that guy up, drop a pin so we don't lose him. Um, and I mean, unless that's where my red deer was, could be. I think this is actually a race track hot point. It's not a, it's not a spot to come and get a campsite. All right, well, we got two herds of goats up here. I'm going to check on after we pick up this one star. Got him in spine. I keep hitting high. Oh, he's a two star mature and he was 80. 2%. Yeah, that's probably not one we wanted to take, but he's a cool looking one. I, I don't think we've gotten one yet with that kind of fur type or that pattern of fur type. That's pretty cool. I like that guy. I like him a lot. Uh, We'll, we'll sell him because he's not a not a four star. We'll only taxi anything if it's a four star above or rare. Let's check this herd. Then I got a herd over there. We got herds everywhere. Um... Get to where I can see all of them. There we go. Let's see. Let's see. One star adult. It's going to be hard to read which one's which because they are kind of bunched up and in some shrub brush. Oh, there's one right there too. One star adult. I don't think there's anything in this one I need to be worried about. It's a little tough to see them all. Yeah, that's a little bitty one. Let's get rid of that waypoint. I'm not seeing anything massive, so we'll call that one good. I don't want to spend too much time looking at a bunch of goats that aren't worth it. Those guys are on the move. I uh, don't see anything yet that's just standing out like, oh my gosh. Don't see anything. This rain is making it tough to see. It just will not clear up. It's been like an hour and a half in game. Another two star mature in this herd. And I think the rest are all actually, oh, there's a one star adult actually. Is that this guy here? I don't know. There's another one star adult. So a couple one star adults, a couple two star matures. Something else out over there. Is that the red deer I spooked? No, <gasps> sandbar. Oh. Is that red deer with sandbar? Man, that freaked me out. I was about to say, I just saw the biggest sandbar ever. But it is, it is nothing special. Two-star mature sandbar, we might take that guy. I'm hesitant to take two-star matures right now. That red deer is a one-star adult. There's a couple two-star mature sandbars. So maybe we'll take a sandbar instead of a feral goat. Change it up a little. I just... I think, oh, perfect. He's going to stand up for me. We're going to put it right in the pocket. Should have been a good hit. He is off to the races. Mm. My shot seems to have been bad. It says clear. Animal dies, but slowly. That's not good. Um, hopefully he's not bedded down up here and we spook him out. All right. Himalayan and Tar spooked out, but our sandbar deer is up here. Moment of truth if we made a good decision. I just, I don't quite understand these animals quite yet to know 
can we take two stars? Can we take one stars? Like, where is the line? Hit him in the liver. It said it was clear. It was dark, so that makes sense. 76.45, so not a bad one to take, but man, these guys are cool. Cannot wait, cannot wait to get a good one. Well, it's a new morning. We've slept and I'm trying to get to drink zones to find our red deer to see if he's aged. And it seems he's not in his drink zone again. He's actually down right on the other side of this hill. Wind's decent, not the best, prefer it to be in my face, but it's at least a crosswind, so we should be okay. Throwing out calls, trying to get him to come up and over this hill. We'll see if he's aged or if he's passed and we have a different one coming in, but we do have him down there. I'm just seeing if they can come into the call. Yeah, there he is. He's calling. It's the first call he's actually made. I've just kind of been sitting here, assuming he's coming. He's he's close, 140 yards out, man. He's right on. Oh, there he is. Oh, there he is. At least he's still a four star, it looks like. He might be five star now. He might be a five star now. I'm not entirely sure. Not sure. We're going to get a moment's glance. Keep coming, big fella. Still a four star. How long is this guy going to stay a four star? I mean, we got to have had another age cycle. Jeez, Louise. I really thought this guy was going to hit it. Oh, wait. Oh, I missed it. I had it on video. Oh, we missed it. That's okay. Man, he's... I mean, he's really not looking all that gray either. I'm, I'm assuming this is the same one. There is something over here. I was walking. Maybe we have another one coming in. He's the only one that's called. Let's just see how close we can get him. There he is. Okay, and I'm super close. He's a little nervous now. Wondering what's going on. 18 yards right there in front of us. Got some cool photos of him, some cool videos. And he's just right there. I mean, I think this is a good show that I'm going to bring the bow. And I think what I'm going to do is run around, kill some more time, do another rest, see if we can't get him to come in again. I'm curious if he does that, if we can stop him. Um... But I think hunt for a little bit longer. See if we can't get him to age. He's not super gray. I've seen some that are, I mean, they are white. White, white, white. There's our fallow deer. I don't know if we have anything good up there. There's a one star doll. I can take some of those while I'm here. So the calling did actually work. He turned around, came back up. So. That was a weird call. He didn't even, didn't even make the animation for it. Uh, let's see here. That's our two-star dolt. Behind him is a one-star dolt. I think we're going to take that. Take that one-star if we get a shot opportunity. Yeah, you know what? That one-star dolt's the one we're going to take, actually. That one-star we will take. And then I'm going to keep hunting. Won't bring you guys along for everything this time. I'm just gonna kill some time, try and age this guy. But I will show you guys this. The fallow deer we just took, what did it score? 79. I'm actually really glad we didn't take that other one star because he looked a lot better than this guy. Actually has some palmation. I think they'll turn out pretty well. Um, so it'd be nice to see what our fallow deer population can turn into. But I'll see you guys in the next morning, which will be in just a few seconds, like right about now. Well, uh, bad news, and then even worse news. Bad news, I spooked the herd out. Worst news, he's dead. He's not with them. Oh man, really thought he was gonna hit a four star, but that guy might, or hit a five star, that guy might do it. There's really good genes in that group. So I might get to where we can check on them, but I got one right below us still. This guy was a one-star adult, maybe two-star adult at one point when we've checked. 
So I want to check him real quick. Then I'm going to do some running around and driving around just to make sure I didn't see a different herd on that last time when we were over there. Because that four star just didn't look that old. The other one's actually walking up. It's a two star mature. And I don't think we take him. I think we're going to leave this guy. He's a solo. I don't know what it really does for her genetics. Ah, you know what? Let's take him. It's a fallow deer. Yeah, you know what? Sake of science, I'm going to try and punch through to the heart. One more. There we go. There we go. Sake of science and learning. I took him. I... I know from doing that last one, I probably shouldn't have done this, but I, I did. I did do it. I'm going to scan that herd too, just to see kind of what we're dealing with, what that guy's gotten to. Probably a three-star mature, maybe just a, a two-star adult. I'm guessing he's a three-star mature. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he just hit mature, so we could be able to watch him and watch his age. This guy, let's see. 76, that's good. That's good. That's good genetics to take. Hopefully taking him helps the rest of our population up here get a little bit better. Now, as far as these guys, one star adult, that's the one I want to see. Three star mature. And like I said, he might have just turned mature. He might be a year into being a mature. There are, there should be a one star young in here. If this is the herd. Yeah, right there. One star young. Oh, another one star young. There's a couple in there actually, which doesn't quite make sense. Why we have a couple of youngs in there. Cause I didn't have any other matures. Oh, I, well, maybe, maybe it makes sense, but let's see there's anything that just looks bad. I know you can't really tell much and they all look really good. I don't know what I would take. Those are the two youngs. Do I have four youngs in there? That's an adult. Young. Young. Yeah, I think we take that adult. Front, right, that guy. He's the smallest of all of them that are adults. The shot was a little low. Get another one in there just to be safe. Just to be safe. Keep eyes on him as he goes. All right. Well, here is that one star adult. Moment of truth. Getting up closer. He doesn't look that small. 67. Sweet. We're good. 67%. Was that first shot a little low? No, that first shot was good. Double lung. Second shot, good, finished it off. Good enough, whoops, I should get my money from him. Like I said, let's just go do some checking. Make sure I'm not missing something, because I would hate to miss it. Not be able to capture a five star, just because I didn't do my due diligence and check all the lakes and all the spots. All right, well, so far, no luck. We have a three-star mature that I found, and I don't think, and a one-star adult, actually. There's a three-star mature in there. He's wa walking right there. And over here, though, we have a four-star mature whitetail. Beautiful-looking whitetail, and a couple one-star adults. I think we're going to take one of those one-star adults. I haven't been able to find any four star. Let's see, what's what's the better one? That guy looks a little bit better, just less points. So I think, ugh, I think we could take that guy. That might be the wrong decision, but we're gonna take him anyways. Oh, no, couldn't get the other one. I, I just, I looked around. I don't know if I haven't been able to find it yet or if I'm right. And that four star dart, dart, dart died and was in the the pack that we did look at or heard that we looked at from the start so let's just grab a bunch of zones hopefully we'll stir up a five star 
red stag here soon. That that's the hope. And this four star whitetail might turn into something. Who knows? We'll have to check him again at a later date. But well, here he is, whitetail down. Took him because he has. He's only a four pointer. A four by four, eight pointer. I don't know. Was that the right call? 84.37. I mean, that's debatable if it's the right call or not. I'm I'm not one to say. I don't know if it was the right call, but we did it anyways. We're gonna wrap it up there, guys. I feel like this video might have dragged on as if I actually had a been recording it over the past three days for myself. But here we are at the end. I was really hoping for an end with a five-star red stack. But that's okay. We can't always get five stars. That's why we work and grow our herds. Hope you guys have enjoyed Way of the Hunter Week and you are enjoying the new map, Matsuriki Park. Please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the map. What do you want to see different? What do you want to see in the next map? Location, animals, all the things. Of course, don't forget to like, share the video, subscribe, and then last but not least, go enjoy a good home with a good friend. I'll catch you in the next one.